Today we'll be tying CWM's Sparkle Spinner. Start off with a size 14 dry fly hook. Use UTC black 70 denier thread. Make thread wraps tight and secure towards the bend of the hook. Make sure to leave a 3 to 4 inch tag end and pull it tight while making these thread wraps. Once you have secured your thread, choose two or three micro fibbits. In this video, I only used two micro fibbits, and notice how I cut them with my scissors instead of pulling them out with my hands. This ensures straight and strong micro fibbits. Line up the micro fibbits to about the length of the shank of the hook. This will be a good tail. Put them on the top of your hook and make sure they're lined up perfectly. Make several securing wraps towards the eye of the hook and back towards the bend. When making tight thread wraps on top of your micro fibbits, pull the tails of your micro fibbits up and at a slight angle to give them a more natural look. Once your micro fibbits are secure, take your 3 to 4 inch tag end that you started with and pull them up and in between your micro fibbit tails. You can split it with a bodkin, then pull it towards the eye of the hook and make thread wraps to secure this micro fibbit thread. Once secure, cut off your tag end and wrap the area so no thread fibers are hanging out. You can make a small head just behind the eye of the hook and then cut off your micro fibbit stubs. Wrap several times just behind the eye of the hook to cover up any stubs or unwanted fibers. Then make wraps back towards the micro fibbit. Now apply a small amount of dubbing wax onto your thread. For dubbing, use super fine black dry fly dubbing and dub a small noodle onto your thread. Be careful not to use too much dubbing, especially on dry flies, less dubbing is better in this situation. Taper your dubbing wraps to make the body look as realistic as possible and stop an eye's length away from the eye of the hook. For the spinner wings, we will use white poly yarn, cut off about an inch. Make several tight X wraps to secure the poly yarn in place. The poly yarn might twist around the hook. You try to get it as tight as possible. Once you've secured the polyon, cut your wings to the desired size. Trim out any outlined hairs of the polyon. Next, take pearlescent wing material and cut V's into both sides. Make similar wraps as you did with your poly yarn. Get the wings so they are tight and vertical. Don't be afraid to make wraps in between the poly yarn and the wing material so the wings stand up nicely. Once 
Once you have the wings vertical and secure, trim the edges with your scissors to make them round. You're now done with the main work of the spinner. Now you can whip finish. When whip finishing, be careful not to trap the fibers of the poly yarn. Once you have a secure whip finish, cut out your thread and apply some head cement in between the wings and just behind the eye of the hook with a bodkin. You have just completed CWM's Sparkle Spinner. It's a great fly throughout summer when tricos are seen hatching and in late August especially. It's a great fly to have in your fly box. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Sponsored by 